Hello, students. This is Mr. Giamini. I wanted to model for you a con skill that was assigned for evening practice. So let's take a look. I'm going to scroll down here. It is under second period, describing ratios. Now, this is a definitely challenging one. It requires a little bit of paper and pencil work. Now, I'm going to do it on the screen so you can see what I'm doing. But if I'm doing this at home, I'm definitely doing it with paper and pencil in front of me. Now, let me go down to the scratch pad here and get me something to write with so I can show you what I'm thinking. Okay, let's take a look. It says, Tim makes a cup using 24 tablespoons of flour and 42 tablespoons of milk. Now, I see a ratio here. I am comparing flour, and again, I apologize, my pen's been acting up today, flour to milk. So there's my ratio. Now we could also do flour to milk like this. Okay. Now I see he has 24 tablespoons of flour for 42 tablespoons of milk. And again, I'll label flour over milk. Now let's take a look. Which of the following are correct statements? You can choose more than one. Here's the clue here. More than one, guys. It could be more than one. It could be none of them at all. So the ratio of flour to milk is 1 to 2. Now, this is what I say, ask myself. If it's 1 to 2, that means if I take 24 doubled, I will get 42. But 24 doubled is 48. So this will not work. I go here. The ratio of milk to flour is four, or 7 to 4. Now they're taking milk and putting it over flour. And it looks like they simplified it. Now I'm going to ask myself, what goes into 42 and 24. I think 6 goes into both. So let's divide both by 6. Now again, this is now, they've flipped it on us, milk to flour. It's no longer flour to milk. I can change the order. 42 divided by 6 is 7. 24 divided by 6 is 4. I have 7 to 4. That is actually correct. Now the next one says the ratio of flour to milk is 7 to 4. Well, that's not true because if I simplify this, it's actually 4 to 7 and not 7 to 4. And the ratio of flour to milk is 16 to 28. Now, it looks like they divided this. Now, let's see here. I'm going to take 16 to 28. And if I simplify 16 to 28, let's see what I get. Let's simplify this. Divide both by 4. And I get 4 to 7. Hey, look at that. That's the same as the flour to milk down here. So that would also work. Okay, so sometimes you got to take these ratios that they give you and simplify them. So I'm going to check my answer. Hey, all right. Okay, let's try another one. Alicia has five red flowers and five blue flowers. Which of the following are correct statements? Okay, so I'm going to put red. I guess I should. Let's, let's do that in red. Okay, so we have, there we go. We have red is five. Two, oosh. two, let's go with blue. And we have five blue. Okay. Now let's take a look here and find these. The ratio of red flowers to blue flowers is five to one. That means for every five blue, I have one, or five red, I have one blue. That's not true. That's a one to one. The ratio of red flowers to total flowers is 33 to 66. Now if I do red flowers, I have five to total flowers. Well, that is 10, correct? So I have half of my flowers are red out of all the flowers I had. And to find all the flowers I had, I just added these. Well, is 3366, is that reduced to one half? It absolutely does. So that would work. The ratio of blue flowers to red flowers is 2 to 2. Well, if it's 5 to 5 and I take, that's a 1 to 1 ratio. Isn't 2 to 2 to 1 to 1 ratio? So that would work too. And let's simplify, let's show you. So 5 to 5, divide both by 5. Again, I apologize for the writing here. It's, this, this active slate is terrible today. That's 1 to 1. Uh, I have 2 to 2. That also simplifies, whoa, divide both by 2. I get 1 to 1. So that works. The ratio of blue flowers to total flowers is 1 to 2. So if I have 5 blue flowers, if I have 5 blue flowers, two total flowers, the total flowers again was 10. Is that the same as 1 to 2? Divide both by 5. It definitely is. So that is 1 to 2. So that would also work. So let's click here. Check answer. All right. Let's do one more here. Kyle has nine basketballs and five baseballs. So let's go here. Uh, I'm going to go baseballs. 
I'll write the word base, although it looks very sloppy. I don't write the sloppy usually, but... And that is nine. Oh, sorry, look at that. I wrote, I wrote it wrong. Basketball. So let's change that. Let's change that to basketball. Basket. Okay, so we have nine basket. And we have five base. Okay. Let's take a look. The ratio of basketballs to baseballs is 9 to 5. Absolutely. The ratio of baseballs to basketballs is 5 to 14. I disagree with that. When I have five baseballs, I have nine basketballs, not 5 to 14. The ratio of basketballs to baseballs is 2 to 1. That means for every two basketballs I have, I have one baseball. Well, if I, that means if I had 10 basketballs, I'd have five baseballs, which is not the truth. When I have nine basketballs, I have five baseballs. Okay, next one. The ratio of baseballs to basketballs is 1 to 5. That means for every one baseball I have, for every one baseball I have, I have five basketballs. Now, I could do this. Let's see. We're comparing baseball to basketball equals, now I have five baseballs over nine basketballs. Why well, multiply this by five to get this? Well, nothing times five is going to be nine, so that's not it. So that's the only way it works. Let's take a look. All right. Hope this helps you out. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.